right guys this is me again i'm supposed to show you guys why erosion control and proper erosion control uh, is what you need to do and i'm showing you why erosion control is important now as you see this is my house and this is the neighbor well actually i was trying to get this lot right here um somebody bought it from under me but there's a lot on top of the hill this right here should be a road to be a right of way to that lot but this guy that owned the lot on top of the hill instead of him cutting it in the right place and getting a survey to figure out what this what this road is he decided to just cut through the the uh, the adjacent lot uh, the cut cut into this lot right here so he cut this he disturbed this right here soil so he had these guys disturb the soil i was on him about it um he said that this is what he was going to do. He was going to put the road to control and he just, you know, but this is a example of someone who's trying to build and have absolutely no clue. Guys, if you're not trying to build full time, I'll just be honest with you guys. Even if I was building my own house, uh, well, if I wanted to do a build my own house, if I had a full time job other than what I'm doing right now, teaching classes at the junior college, if I had something else where I had to go all day and work and stuff like that, um, I would just hire a builder. You think you're getting out cheaper just doing it yourself, but you're really not. You're actually going to spend way more money. This guy spent so much money just on everything. He's probably spent over $200,000. Um, just right now, he spent probably over $200,000 on the lot and just trying to do things and He's just not doing it right. He could have hired a builder. I could have took about eighty to ninety thousand dollars, and he would have been in his house by now. But this is what he did. Came here. He wanted to do an access for people to get in and do work to the lot. But look at what he did. Look at the. Look at this right here. Look at all this. This is what happens. See, when you have undisturbed soil all the siltation is going to drain. It's going to move. When it rains, especially how hard it rains nowadays, it's going to move. So I've been trying to get a hold of this guy. He won't answer the phone. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I could call Adam on him and just really get him jammed up, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to charge him for this right here. So I'm going to charge him about, you know, maybe $1,000 for me doing this right here. But look at what he did to the front of the road. Look at what he did. This is, all this right here came down and drained in the road. Now, here's another problem here. So it drains into the road. You see that storm drain over there? That stuff goes into the storm drain. Now, you see how this stuff is caked up right here? This is what's happening inside of the storm drain. So now, you're gonna, he's gonna clog the storm drain. You know, if I didn't catch this right here too early, he's gonna clog the storm drain. Now, this street is not going to flood. It's not gonna flood, guys, but what's gonna happen, this is gonna happen. What's gonna happen is, if you clog the storm drain here, we have a retention pond that's down at the bottom of this lot. There's a fence around it. So what's gonna happen is, it's gonna, Flood that, that retention pond is gonna overflow because the water's not gonna have anywhere to go. And those houses right there are going to flood. They're gonna have water, it's gonna start out water in their backyard, which they already have some problems. That is what's gonna happen, guys. So, guys, you have to make sure on your site, and I know some of you guys don't pay attention to this. I've seen guys put in silk fences and it's all installed improperly. You know, they have a QVC class you can take here in Alabama, I think Thompson, Thompson trucks, or Thompson big equipment, they teach you how to do this right So the first thing you wanna do, you can't see here, I already done, I, I thought about this as I was doing it. You wanna trench, you wanna trench about six inches in the ground, all the way around, so I kinda stayed with the curve. So you wanna trench all the way around. All the way where this silk fence is gonna go. And they got a little blue line. So what do you put it upside down? They got a little blue line that's at the bottom. That needs to be covered. You can kind of see 
uh, I kind of you can see it at the bottom over here. So you got to pay attention to those blue lines, that blue line right here. All right, so mind you, the water is flowing this way. So the stakes needs to go on the opposite side of the direction of the water flow. You see how the water flows here? The stakes go on the opposite side. See, the stakes are right here. They go on the opposite side. So you can't have it reversed. You can't have the stakes over here and it's pushing the siltation because the only thing that's holding this thing is some staple. You need, the, you need this right here holding it. So it goes on the opposite side. Once you install it, you got to come here and you got to get a compactor. See, I got my compactor right here. And you got to compact this bad boy. You got you to gotta compact. And it's a good thing. Now, guys, what I did was I caught this when it was raining. Loosen this. I tried to come out here when it was hard uh, to loosen, you know, to, to, to bust it up. Because you're going to have to have a pickaxe. You see my little pickaxe over there? I had no luck. So I waited till it rained. And I came over here and dug my trench. So it rained, got it good and wet, soaked through it. Came out here and dug my trench. Not only that, it's going to help. You know, now, wheeling that wet dirt around in the in this right here wheelbarrow is heavier, which is okay, guys, because, you know, give them a little workout in. But doing that is heavier, but it compacts. You can, you can compact it a whole lot better. So I'm going to get all this right here. Cause I'll probably clean up half of this right here today. I might stop about real long in here. This depends on how I feel. This is how, guys, this is kind of how I get my workout in. So we're going to do that. And then we really need to get some, um, they make some little, little um, circular cylinder looking stuff. Um, uh, I think it's a, a, um, a gutter protection for that. You can put it right there. So guys, this is why, this is why you see, so you, you guys in these municipalities, y'all take this for granted. Now, most of these municipalities, like the one I'm building in right now, and you go to Hoover, every time you show up at your site, every inspection, I did this in Alabaster. They just caught up with it, man. I was, I was there maybe eight years ago, man, and I was on this stuff back then. But every time there's an inspection, I instructed my inspectors to do an erosion control on that site. And if the erosion control, see guys, and it's not necessarily about the, it's not necessarily about you having that silt fence up, guys. It's about whether or not it's actually working. So let's just say, for instance, I got it up correctly. Everything it looks good, but we still got siltation getting into the, you know, getting to the road. And, you know, well, you're going to have to figure something else out. You're going to have to do something else. You got to get out here and, and you got to, you might have to put another silt fence up here um, to break it down and then break it down again. You may have to do that. So it's how it performs. Now we're gonna look at because we look at the siltation in the road and stuff like that. Or uh, if the siltation is going on somebody else's property, that's a no-no. So so that's what you want to do, guys. So what you want to do is you want to come here and you want to make sure you got all your siltation, your erosion control measures in place. And I used to make my guys check that man every inspection every last one of their inspections and if it was if it was a failure uh their siltation getting into the road i tell them to shut that don't do another inspection until they get that corrected and we'll come out got there again and check it out so we sh we put a star on that permit and stop it and most of these municipalities around here have caught up with that <laughs> all right guys that's another one